What's up, everybody, and welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. By the way, that clicking noise that you hear in the background, I got a couple of questions about that. That's my bulldog, Bruno. You guys have seen him in some of the videos. That's him walking around on the hardwood floor. That's what that noise is. When I start recording, he likes to come in here and, and hang out while I'm recording. So that's what that noise is. Um, today, we want to talk about bodybuilding the art form. And what I mean by that is is when you first start training, bodybuilding very much is a very just physical thing. It's not much of a mental thing. Your first few months in the gym, mentally, it's not, you're not pushing yourself mentally to get to the, the next level. You're physically in there learning how to lift weights, form, what it feels like, etc. And then you progress on to the point where you're, I guess, would be an intermediate. So you're not a beginner anymore. So the intermediate phase is more kind of learning what works for you you're probably not doing the, the whole body routines anymore. You're probably doing some kind of body part split. And that could go on anywhere from, you know, six months to a year. You get two years under, three years under your belt. If you're out of the intermediate and you're more advanced. Now, the advanced level is you're maybe into competition. You're maybe pushing boundaries of, you know, what you didn't think that you'd be able to do. Um, you're maybe hitting, you know, weights that you know, are really big weights, you know, like the 400 pound bench presses and the three 400 pound squats, etc., stuff like that. So that would be the more advanced. And then you're learning stuff like drop sets and etc. Now, when these drop sets and giant sets and different set extenders come into play, this is where it begins. This is where it begins to become an art form. Now, an art form, I don't mean like you're taking your physique and you're sculpting it like a sculpture into a work of art. Now, that's true, but you pretty much are starting that from the time you walk into the gym. You're starting to build and sculpt this physique or this sculpture that you consider your ideal. But the art form, it very much becomes a mental thing that becomes a physical thing. So it kind of like, it develops, it kind of materializes. And it's different for everyone. But if you've ever seen this art form, you know what I'm talking about. You know, here on YouTube, go ahead and search Tom Platts. Go ahead and search Dorian Yates. Go ahead and search uh, Mike Menser. Go ahead and search, um, you know, Arnold. I mean, you can pretty much search any of the, the top names in bodybuilding that have gone. I mean, especially, especially Platts. He, he, he knew what it was all about. But it goes beyond what a normal human can do. Okay, you've actually gotten to a new level of, I don't know, I guess it's an evolved level of training that's beyond the advanced level. It's something other. And unless you've been there before, I really, it's really, really hard to explain. Like this Platt style training was in the Big Bleed Unbelief book. And this is when Tom would talk about like outer body experience he would have while he was training. He would picture himself as a Pac-Man video game. This is a long time ago. So Pac-Man video game where he was the Pac-Man and he'd be waka, 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 waka. And as he was eating those, those little dots that the Pac-Man would eat, each dot was a rep. Or he would have a, a fishing net and he would be on the back of a boat and every fish he caught was a rep. He would keep catching fish over and over again until he you know, got as many fish as he possibly could. And there was one time where he actually did squats with, I think it was 225, for 10 minutes straight, I believe it was. It was either 5 or 10 minutes. Actually went into oxygen debt, went to the hospital, returned uh, 3, 4, 5 hours later and finished his leg workout. Now, you're not going to do squats for 10 minutes straight or anything like he did on an advanced level. You are at that art form level. That's where you're at if you're doing that. And it's not just interesting, but it's awesome to watch. It's crazy to watch these guys on that level because although it looks like they're, it appears that they're just lifting a weight, so much more is happening while that weight is being lifted that you can't even comprehend between like the mental aspect, the physical aspect, the way the, the muscle fibers are firing. I mean, the intensity that's being put into it that really can't be measured by anything on the planet. Um, Dorian Yates had done a set of something called hyper curls with... Mike Menser, I remember this workout like, I don't know, 92, 93. And it was on an old Nautilus um, concentration curl. You put your arm up on the thing and you, you know, you pretty much, your arm sits up here and you squeeze like to the back of your head with it. And it was literally one set. It took about 
two or three minutes per arm. So what they would do is they would do one arm and actually rest. And then they would do the other arm because they were generating so much intensity in that one arm that they couldn't just do one arm and then go and do the other arm. They actually had to have a rest so that his, his um, energy reserves could recuperate so that he could actually do it for the other arm. And it was like a beyond failure, beyond static failure, beyond negative failure. It was so far beyond what the human body would be thought of that it could do that it was just incredible. You know, and if you saw it, you were like, all he did was like 10 or 12 reps. I mean, big deal. Those 10 or 12 reps, what went into it is what makes it the art form. So be aware, like when you see some of these guys training and you think that in the gym, he's only doing a bench press or he's only doing a curl. But the guy looks phenomenal, and it looks like he's not doing much, but he's got these great results and this great physique. That's the art form. That's when it's gone beyond advanced to where even maybe he's just moving it like this. It's barely moving, but the intensity is so crazy that you know it has to be developed. It's like, it is like sculpting. It has to be developed. You start with the block, little by little, little by little. You bring it down, you start to sculpt. It's the same thing. You start training, Beginner, intermediate, advanced, little by little, little by little, as you're going along, little by little, until you get to that finished product and you have the art form. BioStreetTraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below. www.biostreetraining.com is the blog. And watch for the art form. We're out.